House Oversight Chairman James Comer claims to have evidence directly linking Hunter Biden's business entity to President Joe Biden, asserting that the entity made direct monthly payments to the elder Biden. Let's take a look. Today, the House Oversight Committee is releasing subpoenaed bank records that show Hunter Biden's business entity, a Wasco PC, made direct monthly payments to Joe Biden. This wasn't a payment from Hunter Biden's personal account, but an account for his corporation that received payments from China and other shady corners of the world. At this moment, Hunter Biden is under an investigation by the Department of Justice for using a Wasco PC for tax evasion and other serious crimes. But Hunter Biden's attorney is pushing back at the House GOP, saying that the monthly $1,380 transfers were made to repay his father for a truck payment that Hunter Biden was unable to finance himself. The Biden administration seems at the very least frazzled by the claims, as White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre quickly called a wrap to the day's press conference following a question by Real Clear Politics' Phil Wegman on the issue. The White House has said repeatedly that the president and his son were never in business together. They've said that repeatedly also in this room. Um, according to bank records obtained by the House Oversight Committee, though, uh, one of Hunter Biden's businesses, Osawa PC, set up direct payments to the president. Uh, did the president accept payment? And why would there be such an arrangement if they were never in business together or if there was a wall of separation, as the president has previously said? So I have to be uh, clear with you. I, I have not seen that report, so I would have to refer you to my colleagues over at the White House Counsel's Office on that particular question. All right, everyone. I'll see some of you in Boston or on Wednesday. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. The president is staring down the barrel of a potential impeachment on multiple fronts as House Republicans state they will likely move to launch an impeachment inquiry next week here to discuss the implications of the subpoena into Hunter's finances. And whether the president will be impeached is Phil Wegman, the White House reporter with Real Clear Politics. Phil, welcome. Thanks for having me. Uh, so help us understand the dynamics here. Uh, the Washington Post um, reported this out as kind of conclusively payments that were made for a truck with no um, business connection per se. They say that they have an email verified by Washington Post forensic analysis that confirms that this was in exchange for this truck that Hunter Biden purchased. They point out that there are a bunch of other um, expenses that Joe Biden seems to have paid for, uh, including uh, the younger Biden's health insurance, college, high school tuition for his kids, a, a Yale Club subscription and the like. So is there a there there outside of the money being taken from the business account as opposed to a personal account? And is that a really significant observation? Well, before we get into all of the details, I think that we need to acknowledge that Hunter Biden has had some pretty awesome cars. Uh, of course, he had <laughs> the Porsche 911 that was uh, allegedly a gift from a foreign oligarch. And then he has this Ford Raptor pickup truck, which isn't just your run of a mill pickup. Uh, it's a, you know, it's a, a sport machine. So, so kudos to uh, Hunter Biden for having great taste. I still think that there is there there when it comes to this revelation. Perhaps uh, the chairman of the House Oversight Committee got over his skis. Certainly he did not include in his press release anything about out, uh, this being for a truck payment, but this is significant for two reasons. First, uh, it's significant because it comes from Hunter Biden's uh, law firm, which had done a business with Chinese companies previously. And second, uh, even if it's for the most benevolent of reasons, a father helping a, a son purchase a vehicle uh, when he's down on his luck, um, it, it seems to poke some holes in this argument that President Biden has presented to the American people repeatedly, uh, which is that uh, he had no um, no contact with, with Hunter Biden's businesses, uh, that that wasn't even on his radar. Uh, this is an unusual setup to have a business make these repayments. It wasn't a personal check. Uh, it was a, a business check. And, um, you know, even if you want to dismiss that because uh, it was for a, a Ford pickup truck, uh, this still is newsworthy and bears comment. Karine Jean-Pierre certainly didn't seem to appreciate getting that question from you. Is it my imagination, or do um, d does the White House comms team really not like 
questions about Hunter Biden more than any other kind of criticism or probing question that might make Biden look not good? So generally, this White House is pretty ecumenical when it comes to how they deal with press. Uh, Karine Jean-Pierre, just like her um, predecessor, Jen Psaki, they were willing to go around the room and take questions uh, pretty much from anyone. On the Hunter Biden front, um, your mileage was going to vary because the quickest way to shut down a question and answer was to ask about the president's son uh, because uh, when we saw in that clip, what does the, the White House do? They refer you to White House counsel. Often they remind you that Hunter Biden is a private citizen and they essentially shut down the conversation. Um, so, you know, I, I wasn't surprised by the, uh, the press secretary's uh, response. I think that this might have caught them a little bit off guard. And then when I reached out to the White House counsel's office, you know, they, they did not comment on the record. Instead, uh, Ian Sams, the spokesperson for the White House counsel's office, uh, sort of mocked Comer uh, in a tweet writing that, um, um, you know, essentially he said, you can't impeach the president for, for buying American. Yeah, I, I, I definitely take the point that uh, there's something untoward about um, the children of political leaders with influence getting jobs that clearly seem not especially connected with their personal experience and more so with their status and the at least optics of influence, even if there is no direct influence. And I could also understand if the allegation is that Hunter Biden specifically is collecting money illegally and that the source of the money itself was a problem in a kind of criminal, criminally liable way. But I guess I'm a little confused about what the implication is here. Is the argument that a son in Hunter Biden's position should never and could never, as long as his revenue sources were these international companies, repay a loan to his president? And is the implication that Joe Biden was influencing um, foreign policy on account of $1,300 a month payments from his son? Yeah, and there were only three of those payments. So we're not talking about a, a you know pretty considerable amount of money here. Certainly not what we would expect if it was some sort of um, pressure play or if this was a, a backdoor enrichment scheme. Um, you know, last night we we saw from Chairman Comer. I think he went on the Laura Ingram uh, program on on Fox News, and he basically made this argument, which was that uh, regardless of the transaction or what the purpose was for, Hunter Biden was paying back his father with money uh, that he had gotten from his business deals overseas, essentially arguing that the source of this funding uh, w was shady. And, you know, certainly, um, you know, we know that Hunter Biden's bank had, had flagged uh, the account for his, his law firm's, you know, business account saying that there was a potential for money laundering here. But if you look at um, the, uh, the Hunter Biden laptop, and I think that that was the the email that the Washington Post uh, was was citing, but it certainly wasn't one that they were were eager to to point out as verified and, and true. Uh, but it, it was the emails that were sent between Hunter Biden and his then uh, personal assistant back in 2019. And in those emails, um, his his assistant says very clearly uh, that this is for a repayment of a pickup truck. A repayment of that Ford Raptor. And more than that, uh, we also saw that uh, Hunter Biden was repaying his father uh, for auto insurance. Um, so that, you know, the, the Biden White House and Biden allies, they're going to say this is Biden being a, a good father, helping his son uh, out when he's down on his luck. Republicans, on the other hand, are going to say it doesn't matter what this payment was actually for. Uh, instead, here is an example of, um, of Biden in between, you know, his time as vice president and president. Uh, you know, accepting uh, funding and accepting payments uh, from his son, who was involved with, uh, you know, uh, shadowy businesses around the globe. Philip Wegman, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.